new project by clicking on file new project we'll call this project introduction and we click on OK this takes us to the design window and in the middle of the design window we see a blank form now we'll add some controls to that form so first of all we add a text box by going to the toolbox and double clicking on the text box icon a blank text box is added to the form now we set some properties for the text box by going to the properties window and the first properties property that we'll set is the name property and we'll call this text box txt student because we're going to use it to hold the name of a student then we'll set the font property by scrolling down in the properties window click on the font property and click on the little button to the right we'll change the size of the font for our text box to be size 12 so I'll choose 12 and click on OK now we can move the text box to wherever we want to locate it on the form and we can stretch it out if we wish to make it a little bit longer the next control we'll add to our form is a label so again we go to the toolbox double click on the label icon and the label will appear on our form we can drag it to a little bit left here and then we s again we set the properties so we go to the properties window and we'll give this label a name LBL student now we set the font property for it by scrolling down again click on the little button this time we'll change the font to be bold and size 12 and finally we'll change the text which is appearing on the label so again we scroll down through the properties window to the text property and we type name here and then we will move our label into position the next control we will put on our form is a button so again go to the toolbox this time click on button and a button will appear on the form we can just reposition it and again we set the properties we we'll call this button BTN push we'll change the font size for the text on the button by going to the font property change it again to bold 12 for example and click on OK and finally then we'll change the text on the button to its text property and we'll just simply type push me now we can stretch the button so that we can see all the text on it and there we have our button the final control that we we'll place on our form is a list box so again go to the toolbox double click on list box and a list box appears on the form reposition it slightly and change its size so that it's it fits on our form and now we we'll give it a name we'll call it LST output we can use the list box to store lists of items or in some cases to display output and we'll change the font size for this so back to the font property and this time I'll make the font size 11 finally we'll change the text that appears in the title bar of the form by clicking on the form and selecting it and then moving to the properties window and changing the text property 
and we'll type the text introduction and hit enter and now we can run our program and see what the form will look like to the user by clicking on the run button the little green triangle in the toolbar it may take a few moments to build the project and now we can see the form that we've designed as it would appear to a user and in the text box we can type some text and we can push our button. Nothing will happen when we push the button as we haven't written any instructions yet. That will come in a later lesson. And then we can stop our form by just click closing it and that will return us to the design window. And finally for this lesson we'll save our project by going to File, Save All. In this case, we'll be asked for a name for the project, which we've called in Introduction, and also to give a location for where we want to store our project. In this case, I'm going to store my project on my F drive in a folder called Programming Principles. And a folder within that called Intro. And click on Save. take some moments to save. We'll return to this project in the next lesson and set some other properties of the controls on our form. For the moment we can close the project now by going to File, and Close Project.